Hello everybody and welcome back. Hopefully you had an excellent spring break and you're ready to get back into video. I had a lot of fun checking out the work you guys have been doing, whether it was just the very first filming that you did or once you actually had to start putting together your five camera angles. So uh, let's just take a little look at some of the great work you guys have been doing. I'm speaking to you from my home because, like many of you, I've spent much of the last year indoors. So continuing along with the video, this week we're actually not really going to need to record any video, maybe just a little bit of video, uh, because we're going to be working on making some titles that we're going to use on Heron TV. So this is a great way to show off your work, but it's pretty low risk. You don't have to appear as an actor in any of this, but we're going to create some titles and they can be titles for absolutely any segment you see, but we're going to do five different titles. So. The first title you're going to do is over a black background. You're going to do another title over a preset Wii video background. There's lots of generators that you can use. Uh, then you're going to do any title over video. I highly encourage you to actually record some video that you can work with this. But if you need to, you can use some of the stock footage that is available in Wii video. I'm going to also have you do any title that involves Wii video animations, so something where it already has some motion of the text playing around. That can be over any sort of background that you like. And then lastly, I want you to try a Google Slides uh, title as well. So we can do all of those titles. You'll have five titles together. Let's see, they could be for anything that you've ever seen on Heron TV. The quote of the week, the joke of the day, the random fact of the episode. You're watching Heron TV. Have a great day, Herons. The list goes on. Student Spotlight, Ask a Heron. Just whatever you'd like to make a title for for Heron TV, that's what we want to see. So Groot and I, hello Groot. I'm Groot. That's what I thought you'd say. Uh, we're going to show you how to make some titles uh, for your video. You're going to put them all into one project. You're going to export that. You're going to put it into your IVP folder that's shared with me. And then you're going to attach them to this assignment so that I can easily download them. And then we're going to start seeing them on Heron TV. It's a very cool. Let's jump into the first title. The very first title that we want to use in this project is just going to be over a black background. So really simply in Wii Video, all you have to do is take a title. So where it says text right underneath the links resources, you're going to just drag it onto the video one line. And by default, you have that title over top of a black background. So here's my joke of the day. Super, super simple. I'm sure you guys can all handle that. All right, the next one we're going to do is over a background. So um, same sort of title choices that you could make as before. But what you're going to do now is you're going to put that on video two line. And then on the video one line, you're going to choose from backgrounds. And there's all sorts of backgrounds you can choose. You can see I made a random fact of the episode. 
And then I ended up just choosing over a background that has some like waves and bubbles, things like that. So that is title. Number two, you've got to see how that works over a background. All right, continue with that idea of going over a background. Now I want you to do a title over top of video. So here's some footage of Mr. Lippert that you saw the other week while we were on a chairlift. And this worked great for Have a Great Day, Herons. And so you can see that I have put the preset title right over top of Mr. Lippert. Now, this was, I believe, trailer slasher, right? So it was just happened to be the style of title. It just kind of comes whipping in. You'll see that uh, in a minute here. And uh, one thing that I did is I went ahead and moved my title. So it doesn't have to be centered. When you click on the inspector, one option you can have is the scale or the position. So go ahead and position this. And when you're, when you're using video, it's really important to position your titles in a way that's effective, right? Not just over top of a really busy background or not over top of your character, unless you wanna make it look like as someone's talking, words are coming out of their mouth. You can really play around with how you want different titles to look when you lay them over video. So that is our third one that we're gonna do is over video. All right, you're also going to make a preset animation. Now this can be over a black background if you'd like, just like mine is here where I just put it on the video one line. It could also be over top of video. It could also be over top of a preset background or just a color. So whatever you like to do, go ahead and do this. Experiment with how you can change the font, how you can change the size, how you can change the colors. Just really get to know the title functions uh, in WeVideo, really important, so that you can start seeing a variety of titles and not just the first necessarily title that you see when you're editing. Okay, so um, the last title that we wanna do is going to be over a Google Slides. So here we have it, okay. So um, this was just created in Google Slides and what I did was I made a background. I just searched for a background image and I found a lake, right? And then I added my text as in two different lines as the quote uh, and of the week, right? And I positioned it so it fits over the lake. I think that works really nicely. It creates some good contrast. I think all good titles uh, need contrast. Then what I did, you can see I added some animations as the words, the quote come flying in from the left at the same time while the words of the week come in. And then, and I have those set to after previous. That way when the slide starts, they start sliding in. Now my next one I have set to on click so that um, when I want the title to leave, I click the space bar and then the quote continues going and of the week continues going. Um, but I have them set to sync together. So you can see slightly complicated animation, but not too much. And then let's look at what that would look like. So the quote of the week looks good. And then I click and then it continues on. And I've made an animated title. Now you can just screen record this in Wii Video, and then you've got yourself a video project. So we've got all five of our animations that we have right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Wii Video and show you what that looks like. And so I made a project here and I will show you the entire screen. So first thing I have is the joke of the day, right? Real basically, notice I had music that was playing with it and what I did was I faded the music. So when you have your audio track that you found on line one, you're gonna, you're gonna click on it once, actually these little lines appear, and then you get the speaker icon. So go ahead and click on that and you're gonna choose fade. And so for two seconds I set this to fade so that it's a nice gradual fade. Notice how that's fading for a few seconds and it's continuing to play with nothing else going on. That's really important if you want me to use your audio on Heron TV. The reason for that is I like to have the music continue into the next segment. So if we were to use this on the joke of the day, um, then the beginning of the joke when someone's sitting around is kind of setting it up, we would still hear that music while their video's there. So super important. If you just stop your music right away, I can't use that audio and would have to add something else. So go ahead and do something like that. Then I left a few seconds and now here I did my second title. This is my random fact of the episode over a preset background. Notice I've got video two line is where that is. And then on video one line, I have my background. Now I could choose any type of background that's preset here that I wanted. And all I have to do is drag it from there onto this and then you put the title right above it. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't want that right now. 
All right, let's uh, now look at our next title, right? Notice I have another gap. Didn't add any music right now. Maybe I'll add some in just a minute. So here I have Mr. Lippert's clip, and I actually cut the audio of the beginning of his clip. Have a great day, Herons. And then when he says, have a great day, Herons, I am, I have the title that came in, and uh, you can see how that's all animated as well. So that is title number three. Now for our fourth title, we've got just our preset animation that I thought looked cool, Heron Television, the official news of HVMS. I did it over a black background, but if I wanted to, I could put it over top of like the Galaxy Nebula, so I would just put this here, put this on line two, put that in, and then now I've got Heron TV. I actually like it over the purple one, so maybe I'll keep that one. And um, you can change your length of things. Notice how I'm just going by the end line here and dragging, or while I'm going, I could have the scissors Right, I have to move this line, click the scissors, I have two, and I could delete. So there are a variety of ways to adjust the trim length on your video, right Groot? I'm Groot. Yes, that's what, once again, that's exactly what I thought you'd say. You know what, let's pause. I'm kind of cold sitting here in my living room. I'd rather go somewhere else. Let's try it. Hey everybody, I hope you had a great spring break and you're enjoying this week's video. And now it's time for the secret word. You guessed it, the secret word is golf. That's right, golf is the secret word. I got to play a lot of golf over spring break. It was pretty relaxing, so hopefully you had a relaxing break too. Don't forget kids, the secret word is golf. Not bad. And that's your secret word. Man, if only I could stay there forever, that place was cool. So that's your secret word, don't forget it. All right, let's get back to the video. So now here I have all of my different titles and the only last one I need to look at is doing my, um, my preset Google slide one, right? Okay, so for this one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my slide where it's gonna work and I'm gonna play it. But first what I need to do is in Wii Video, I'm gonna use the screen record function. And we've done this before, but I'll do it one more time for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to go to my video. No, cancel, I don't wanna do that. My media, there we go. And now I'm gonna record. And I'm just gonna to choose to use the screen next. And I don't even want audio, so I'm fine with that. And I'm gonna select my screen and hit share. Three, two, one, very exciting, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna open up my slide and it's this one, so I'm gonna press present. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna go back a slide because I don't want it to have those little screen things that say you're presenting and things like that. So once those go away, I will leave the screen, it just takes a second to do that. All right. There we go, and then I'm gonna hit stop sharing once I've got my video, and I'll show you what that's gonna look like. Okay, so let's go back into Wii Video. I hit save. Now this is going to generate as a clip, and it already went into here, which is great. So I'm gonna move my playhead to find my video where it actually record. I think at the end is where it started looking good. That's probably the one, so I'm gonna back up. It's a little earlier. And I'm going to use the scissors, cut out the beginning part. Okay, so let's see what I want to do with this. I'm going to play it. Ooh, it looks like I only need to shave just a hair. That's not bad. Okay, and then I'll stop it here. So now I have that. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that you can go deeper you could then just finding the things in Wii Video because um, you'll start hearing the same sounds over and over again. And this is the, true with any editing software that you use, whether it's iMovie, um, ClipChamp, I know a lot of people used last semester, and you just start hearing the same songs over and over again. So um, we're gonna add music or sounds just like I was showing you before. But now what I want you to do at least for one or two of the clips 
is go deeper than we video. So um, you can try either bensound.com or the YouTube Creator Studio to find some interesting royalty-free music. So first off, let me talk about bensound.com. Bensound.com is a website that you can go to and uh, it has lots of great free music on it. All right, so you've probably heard some of these before. Kind of fun. From this one, all you have to do is hit download and then you're going to hit download. You don't need to purchase and this is all just for, uh, for our personal use, so don't worry about the licensing. Um, I'll know when it's a Ben Sound song, I've heard it a million times, and then we give them credit on Heron TV. So Ben Sound is one option, you would hit download, it would go to your downloads, and then you could use it. So that's one option you could do. And then another option, if you have a personal Gmail account, so like this is my HeronTelevision at gmail.com account, which has a YouTube account, obviously, since it has the YouTube channel, and if you go, if you click on your account and you go to um, your channel and then you go to, no I don't, no I see that every time I play this. Okay, if I come onto the YouTube studio and I go to audio library, I can now start finding things that I want to download. So let's hear this one. These are, these are all dark. Let's hear something happy. Let's hear star, Stairway. I don't like that one. Piano Trap, Beethoven. Nope, not into it. He's, how about, yeah, yeah. I like it. Once I find something I like, I hit download, and it's going to save to my files, just like anything that we'd be working on. So I've got two things. I've got yeah, yeah, downloaded, and Ben Sound Jazzy MP3. Let me show you how that will work in Wii Video. So in Wii Video, you have to first drag the song into your media to import. So I'm just dragging from my downloads bar. And then now I could add Jazz Frenchie to one of these titles, right? So let's hit add Jazz Frenchie here. All right, so. So I'm gonna actually make that a little later because I had a long time of this title. I'm gonna even shorten that just a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna delete the other part and now on this one, I'm gonna click on the audio, I'm gonna to go to fade, two seconds. Why didn't that work? Let's see what happens. Sometimes it's a little glitchy. Two seconds, out. It's being glitchy. I want it fade. I don't get it. Normally it works just fine. Let's try two again. One, is it, was it too much? Unfadeable? Well, what you can do is you can also just grab the handle and drag. So I'm gonna just drag just like that and watch, well, let's hear this one. Perfect, okay. Let's say that you've got talking in your title. You don't want to interrupt that. So now I'm going to add yeah, yeah over Mr. Lippert. Oops, I did the wrong button. Sorry, I forgot you had it from my imported. So I'm going to grab it from here and I'm going to put this in. Now listening to this one, I don't know that I want the beginning so much. I like more of the techno part, so I'm gonna actually delete to here. I know when the techno starts. I'm gonna put this right before he appears. I'm gonna shorten this too, because I don't need that much of him there. Now let's watch it. Have a great day, Harris. Cool. So one thing you can do also is when you click on the audio, I can add a little another dot and then I can add another dot, and I can make it quieter in the middle. Maybe I should have added even one more dot. And then now, listen to this. Let's see how that sounds. Have a great day, Harris. I am. Then it gets louder again, right? Very cool. Have a great day. So then I'm gonna just cut here. 
And actually, I don't like how long Mr. Lippert talks. He starts saying, have a great day, Herons, again. That kind of ruins it. All right, so then I can just click here. All right, let's try to go in the traditional route. Fade for... No, it doesn't want to let me fade out. There we go. And I can click and drag. Come on, drag with me. Why is it not working? These are questions I have. No. It is, this song is against fading right now. No big deal. If you leave it a little longer, have a great day, Herons. You can, uh, I can always fade it when I go to edit it on Heron TV. But once again, give me a couple seconds of the song. I would probably even stretch this out just a little bit more. And then that way, um, we can make all the cuts to it. So that should work out greatly. Okay, so there are your five titles that you saw. And uh, yeah, so those five titles, remember we've got all five of those, the black background, the preset background, over a video, something with some animations, and then animating yourself in Google Slides um, and export that all as one project, all five of them together, leave spaces in between just like I was showing you. So your video, let's see, how long is your video gonna be? My video ended up being, for all five titles, about a minute. Right, I don't need gaps that are that long, but you can see I've got all five of these. Um, yeah, 50 seconds or so. So good luck with that. Um, have fun making titles. Take a look at an episode of Heron TV to get inspiration for titles. Um, I like to have a lot of fun with titles. I think it can be a good time. Uh, it's a kind of a neat way to create things in, in video. So have a, had a lot of fun with that. And uh, yeah, make sure to... Uh, Make sure to put that in your IVP folder. Make sure to attach that to this assignment. So that's it for this week. Um, yeah, welcome back. Never stop creating and I'll see you in the next video. Right, Groot? I'm Groot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think he said the same thing I said. All right, see you later. Maybe I should stick to teaching.